boiling it down, Bronco versus Defender. I saw pictures of three or four that had rolled over and and three of them, the rear windows didn't even pop off. So I don't don't even know how that's possible. You know, the the Defender, they did go after the the off-road market. Bronco versus Defender. So we've done this a couple times now on the podcast. Uh, We compared the Bronco versus the Forerunner. And today we're going to compare the Bronco versus the Land Rover Defender. Now, Donnie is going to take the side of the Bronco. I'm going to take the side of the Land Rover Defender. And we're just going to talk about some of the specs. Now, I've never, I haven't driven the new Land Rover Defender. Uh, 90 or 110, uh, but I, uh, you know, just kind of comparing some of the specs, it's it's pretty interesting looking at this. So uh, tell us about the the engine on the Bronco, Donnie. Well, we we talked about that a little bit uh, last week, and um, yeah, you know, so you've got the 2.3 option and you've got the 2.7 option, and uh, mine has the 2.7 option, and I absolutely love it. It's the turbo, and it makes crazy power for its displacement. And uh, the power is like it's on low end, it's on high end. I think I I told you I went to pass someone at at 65. I hadn't really (laughs) abused my truck at all because it has like 3,000 miles on it. And um, I I just matted it at 60. I was like shocked. (laughs) Like until we did the specs, I didn't even know it was zero to 60 in 6.5 seconds. I just didn't really realize it and when yeah. you're in a short wheelbase truck you really feel the power but and then the suspension does its thing it's got the soft squishy suspension so it literally lifts the front up and you go you really feel like you're you're hauling butt yeah yeah <laughs> that's awesome yeah you know in in comparison the defender has a two liter inline four a three liter inline six and a five liter v8 so i think that uh, pushes the defender ahead just a little bit having that that five liter v8 i mean it's like how many bronco owners uh, or like bronco fans were like give us a v8 in the bronco and now you know comparing to the defender it's got that v8 option and i really think um horsepower numbers the defender edges out the bronco but in torque the bronco edges out the the Defender because the two liter inline four has 296 horsepower and 295 feet of foot pounds of torque. Uh, the three liter inline six Defender has 395 horsepower and 406 torque. So, you know, their, their horsepower numbers are quite a bit bigger because in comparison, the Broncos at 315 horsepower for the 2.7 liter V6, but the Bronco has that torque. Um, and, uh, and you know, but then you go to the five liter V8 and you're at 518 horsepower in that defender and 460 foot pounds of torque. Like that's, that's a, that's a kick in the pants for sure. And, I bet that thing sounds beautiful. Um, and you know, it's, it, it, everyone loves a V8, you know, that's, that's, that's how it goes. Well, you know, it's coming. So there's already people out there trying to do some V8 conversions and, uh, yeah, I'd do it in a second. Yeah. I mean, I know there's a warranty out there, but I'd rather have a V8 than the I warranty. Know. So I know. <laughs> it's so true. Um, but yeah, when you compare the Broncos, uh, stats to the uh, same engine. You know, you've got a four cylinder, a six cylinder, but no eight cylinder in the Bronco line. Um, if if they did have an eight cylinder, I mean, we're only a hundred horsepower short, four hundred and eighteen yeah. horsepower, which would be the Bronco Raptor engine versus the five liter V eight and the Defender. Um, you know, you can get a hundred horsepower pretty quick. So there are some upgrades and things. I'm sure. Ford's holding back too, you know, Bronco's brand new. Yeah. Probably don't want to unleash everything. So, but I would hope a V8 is in the future. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Well, moving on, um, you know, comparing the two, you've got a pretty similar, um, similar vehicle here. You've got the four door Bronco, uh, versus the four door defender. Cause the defender has a two door and a four door. Um, the 
wheelbase is 116 inches on the Bronco to 119 inches on the Defender. Weight wise, you're you're in the same park. 4,945 uh, pounds on the Bronco, 5,035 on the Defender. Um, but then you start getting inside, and I actually doing this comparison, I didn't realize how roomy the Bronco was. Like, uh, we compared the forerunner last time and you know, the, the Bronco just beat out the forerunner. And now looking at these numbers, um, you know, the Bronco is actually quite a bit better than the defender, you know, look, go through the, the numbers there. Well, does the, also, you know, we have the full cage inside the Bronco. You, the roof is, uh, removable so you know yeah. it's integrated with the cage but you can take it all off and you, you're fully protected it's like a family cage yeah it covers all the seats so um to be fair you know in some ways they're really trying to compete with jeep and offer a full cage for when the roof comes off and the defender doesn't have to deal with that true so true. The, the roof system and structure is part of the security of the vehicle but in a rollover i'd rather be in a bronco <laughs> yeah, yeah honestly sure. uh, we talked about that last week there were uh, i saw pictures of three or four that had rolled over and and three of them the rear windows didn't even pop off so I, I don't even know how that's possible but um i mean i'm sure you can do it but uh, it just tells you how well the whole thing was designed engineered and thought out yeah um but yeah so um the interior dimensions, uh, you know, headroom, 41 inches in the Bronco and 40 inches in a Defender. Uh, Legroom, it's not an issue for me. 43 inches uh, in the Bronco and 39, so four more inches than the Defender. Yeah. Um, and then second row headroom, which is important, um, you know, so you've got 40 inches in the Bronco and 40 inches in the Defender, same, same. Yep. And second row legroom, uh, 36 inches versus 38. So that's very similar. And then the cargo area, this is important to me. Um, having the two door, it, there's no cargo room in the two door. So I'm definitely going to switch and get a four door. Yeah. Um, I want to own them both anyway at some point. Uh, 35 cubic feet of cargo room in the Bronco and 34 cubic feet in the Defender. So it's more than you think. Yeah, it's interesting because so the uh, we know, you know, the Bronco has uh, independent front suspension and a solid axle rear suspension. The Defender has an independent front suspension and an independent rear suspension. So uh, you call that kind of a unibody type of type of design there. And um, and so it's but it's interesting because the how they have designed the Defender, um, you know, it doesn't look super classic it looks a lot more like a new vehicle than even the bronco like the bronco has a lot of classic styling cues but on the defender they really went after the approach angle and the departure angle so the approach angle on the defender is 38 degrees whereas the approach angle on the the bronco is 43 degrees so bronco has it out there you know they they've they've got the short front end and and have a, a better front end when you're going off road but departure angle on the bronco is 37 degrees and departure angle on the Defender is 40 degrees. So Defender got it there, and their ground clearance is about the same with, with stock tires at 11 and a half inches. So it's just interesting that, you know, the the Defender, they did go after the, the off-road market. They did want this to be a more, you know, utilitarian vehicle than, you know, just the Chevy Blazer or, you know, something that's just a... a road car that can carry more in the back you know they they really did go after that that off-road market you know they have a lot of history there too i mean they've been in the world market forever you know south africa and all over the place and um i think they do a great job with that and they understand approach angle breakover angle departure angle and um They've never let go of that in spite of even their styling is very futuristic and all this other stuff, but they still maintain we want to be a great off-road vehicle. Yeah, but it comes down to uh, the, uh, the, the dollars, the price. You know, looking at the Bronco, obviously you could 
blow up these numbers by, you know, you can't really find Broncos on a dealership lot for this cheap um, because they're just kind of going crazy. But the Bronco, the base Bronco starts at 32,000. And I think the Badlands, not the Raptor, but the Badlands goes to 50 up to 54,000. Then you can get upgrades and, you know, you can build on that. But the Land Rover Defender starts at 53,000. You know, 53,500. Like, it starts where the the Badlands Bronco starts um, and goes up to 118,000. Well, if you want the burled wood and the bar and the Grey Poupon refrigerator <laughs> and all have, that stuff. But they have sheep wood in there. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to go, you know, 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds. Yeah, it's twice the price. Yeah. 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 I mean that I I think, you know, we we do this and you know, boiling it down, Bronco versus Defender. What where you know, if you're buying a new car today, where are you putting your money? And uh, yeah, like what are you what are you going to buy? Like you answer go first. Uh, no one's called me refined. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that other guy. And it was, you know, it's to buy a new vehicle, you know, for me, that's a, that's a big deal. And, uh, you know, I'd rather have a, f- a f- vehicle that's really about fun and function and not that the Land Rover isn't capable, but, um, I like the whole fun vibe that Broncos and Jeeps throw out there. And that's me. I want to be free and fun and, and have all that stuff. And, uh, you know, uh, I don't wear ties anymore. Yeah. So, um, the, the, uh, you know, the nice leather interiors and all that. Um, yeah, I'm not about that. Yeah. Yeah. I like the Land Rover is the luxury vehicle in this comparison. It's definitely the, um, you know, Mercedes it's, it's the, it's the nice, nicer of the two. If you want the plush interior, if you go with the defender, if you, you know, want the, yeah, what you said, you know, the, the mahogany wood feel and, and that kind of stuff, you do. You go with the Defender. <sighs> yeah, and I can't, I mean, there's part of me, I would love a Defender, you know, like there's, but then again, like there's part of me, I want the classic Defender. Like I don't want the the new one as much, you know, like I would love a classic, you know, 110 or, or whatever, you know, like, so I I think I am going Bronco. I was trying to go Defender. I really was trying to to make the case for the Defender on this, but I just think if I had the money, I would go, I would go with the Bronco and, you know, you can do whatever you want to with it. You can, you know, we didn't even talk about suspension upgrades. You know, it's like, you're not going to do the suspension upgrades that you can on a Bronco on a Defender. Like that's just not going to happen. You're not going to get away with 37 inch tires on the Defender. You're not going to, you know, there's so much more you can do with the Bronco. It's just such a, uh, a more, you, you know, truly utilitarian vehicle but also has some of those really nice comforts. It has, you know, the pep and the step, you know, with the, with the 2.7 liter engine. Yeah. We need a V8, but I really, I I would go Bronco on this one. Yeah. You know, what's funny about all all the the, uh, Land Rovers is that the seats like elevated. So when you sit inside of it, you feel elevated, you know, and you're much taller than everyone else. And, (laughs) but somehow they kept the headroom. So I feel like that vehicle, the actual cap must be taller. Oh yeah. 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 And uh, I have, I mean, I'm not tall. I'm five, six and I bang my head on the, uh, (laughs) the a pillar. I don't know if you saw at the open house, I broke my glasses. Like I'm (laughs) I'm always hitting my head, jumping in and out of tracks. So, um, but yeah, so, uh, Maybe the headroom will be good, but <laughs> yeah. Well, let us know what you guys think. Leave it in the comments below. What are you choosing? Are you choosing a Defender or are you choosing the Bronco? And why? Why are you picking one over the other? Obviously, a lot of Bronco fans are watching this channel, but I would love to hear if you're what if you're watching this and you're like, "Oh, I'm going Defender." Why are you picking Defender and why are you picking Bronco? But if you enjoyed this content, make sure to head over to iTunes or Spotify or Google Podcast and uh, listen to the podcast. Listen to the whole episode. This was just a short little snippet that we wanted to give for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.